Yo, what's up guys? So, I have another update video for you today. Uh, we did stream earlier today, we did a, a Tecton Mass at 1pm. Every Saturday at 1pm server time, Pacific Standard Time, we're going to be doing some sort of event. And I know that not everyone likes the idea of the Tecton Mass because only one person gets loot and probably the person with the most expensive gear. That's just how the fucking game works, guys. I don't, I don't know how you can, like... I, I don't know if, if Vasa's spoiled the hell out of you guys or if you've just completely forgotten how how most servers and actual runescape works. More, like, if you did a mass on old school right now, it doesn't matter what boss, not everyone's gonna get the loot. So, uh, so and doing a Vasa mass every single time is, is boring, so we're gonna mix it up. Next weekend, we are gonna be doing Corp, so Corp mass, 1 p.m. Again, not everyone's gonna get a loot, only one person. If you don't wanna come, be, then don't come. If that's not fun to you, then that's not fun to you. That's perfectly fine. You don't have to come. No one's forcing you. Um, so with the updates, there's a couple good ones, a couple quality of life things. The uh, completing Slayer tasks, 100 tasks in a row, now correctly gives you 500 Slayer points. Uh, Pearl Pearl was added. It's had some mixed results, but it's uh, it's added, and you know some people seem to like it. Um, you can no longer get... Let me let me hop on a, okay, on a different... So you no longer get fossils... Um, from from monsters like K, uh, from KBD, DKs, mammoths, wyverns, Catholic queen, and giant mole, I believe, are the ones that drop them. Um, so instead of getting a two one three seven two one three seven, so instead of getting a rare fossil like you used to, you now get a fossil box instead. And the bone sack still works; in, it works exactly the same. The rates are the exact same. It's just instead of getting a random fossil, you get one of these. And for the most part, these just contain rare fossils, but you do have some extra items like the, the bracelet, wyvern visage, um, tome of fire, some of the fossil things like the bone sack is obtainable in here, the beads of the dead are obtainable, and the merfolk is obtainable, and then I believe it was the wyvern pet that was added, I think the wyvern pet is in the box as well as a very rare item, so just another way to get that if you want, but this is what they look like for the most part, so in some instances it could be a nerf, Technically, for like mammoth, mammoth always gave the best one, and now it has the potential to give the worst possible one. So that's kind of a nerf. But then, if you do DKs or whatever, I don't even remember what drops we have. It's probably the giant mole. I would think the giant mole. Um, or whatever drops this, now you can have the potential to get that. And then you can also just get some extra items. So that's all that was done there. The um, the new boss has been added called Mutant Tarn. I'll go over that in a second. Um, if you have all of the titles needed for completionist cape. Uh, you can now turn them into Robin, who is in Port Phasmatis Pub, and that will unlock that achievement for completion escape. So, that basically saves everybody who had those items nine nine inventory nine bank spaces or whatever. So, um, go ahead and do that. You can now use the command colon colon my info. It will tell you what year your account was created and how long you've played for. Um, it does track from now, so you. Uh, you definitely it doesn't it doesn't track from the, the year of most people have already played so that's kind of unfortunate but it is what it is there's nothing we can do about that we can't track you know we can't track what we weren't tracking right um, you can now track your mystery box tra kills again this is another one where it'd been nice earlier but whatever it's it's there now I also changed the color to orange uh, I didn't like the fact that black was the color it just kind of didn't make sense uh, I think it stands out a lot more I like it personally but to each his own there's that. The zombie head that was in the last Halloween event is now in the unique boxes. The hunter pet gamble is half off. Uh, gangsters and lizardmen at Kwon Kwon Train now work. And then there are two new invention items, and in order to get the invention items, you need to kill Tarn. I'd spell Tran. <laughs> That's something completely different. So you gotta get this schematic right here. Um, and they're pretty cool. So the first thing is the Lucky Scrolls. I don't know if that's the right ID. That was the right ID. So these are cool because what they do is, if you have any clues, um, just spawning some random ones. So you have five medium clues, a couple hard clues. You can use it on them and it gives you a clue box. So those are pretty nice and nifty. And then there is the item called a Big Pearl, which is really nice because what it does is automatically combines uh, or com automatically completes your clues. So if we get an inventory of, again, just some random clues, some, some hards, 2801, 15, and then 2682, I think is easiest. Boom. 
automatically completes all of your clues and turns them into caskets. So this is a pretty expensive item. Uh, the the link to the forum post will be in the description below if you want to come look exactly what uh, every item requires to make. But that is definitely the one I'm pretty proud of and uh, but definitely looking forward to getting because that, that, you know, the clue caskets and everything like that, it's something that, that you do so many times that the convenience of having this will be really nice. Um, so let me show you some surprise boxes. People want to see what surprise boxes are, so I'll sh I'm just showing you those. Now, they're basically like... I don't remember the ID. Hold on. I don't think you can have... <laughs> Fucking... Damn it. 13. I think it... Yeah, yeah, I did. I didn't look at that like I, like I wanted to. 13, 6, 3, 9, 20. I think you need space. That's why I had to do that. Uh, so it's basically a box box. It, can, well, it doesn't even contain the some skilly spies. That's, that's a lie now. I probably should have edited that, but I forgot. So you can see you get a random box from it. The rates are the exact same. You can get Uber box, raid box. Uh, the worst box would probably be the rare box. And if you're wondering what the sampler comes with, I will spawn with those just so you guys can see that. That is not the right idea. 67591. It comes with one of each treasure key and then a surprise box. So, unique box. What do we get from that? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look at this loot. Look at this. Look at this great loot. I'm gonna go kill myself now because that was such a, that was so, so worth it. Let me hop on the other account and I will show you Mutated Tarn, Mutant Tarn. So, with Mutant Tarn, uh, and how to get there, basically you come home, go over to the docks, and trade Trader Stan. He sells this item right here, Tarn's Diary, which will teleport you to the boss. Ectophile, which teleports you to Port Phasmatis, uh, Old X device, and just a cash bag for gambling if anybody wants to gamble. Um, when you're ready to go, just teleport to the bus. Use magic. It is magic only. If you don't use magic, you're going to hit zeros. I bring Blood Barrage because why not? He does hit through prayer. You can. I've, I've heard you can just safe spot him. That's... Safe spotting isn't, isn't like, a big concern if it's a, a demi-boss like this. It's more of a concern if it's something really elite like God Wars 2 or, or anything along those lines or Raids 2 or Raids or anything like that. But when it comes to this boss, if you look at the drops, it's really on par with Glon, and and it's even lower than I would say Mammoth, so don't worry about it. Just do the safe spot until uh, I fix it. You're not going to get banned. And there you go. I guess, I guess I don't need prayer. And kill it. So what it drops is just drop souls, the other rare item, but the main thing you're going for is the schematic. Any leftovers, I believe, Alk for 10 mil. But other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, I will should have a good video for you tomorrow, and then probably another sort of Peking type video soon as well. So stay tuned for that. If there's any videos you guys want to see, any any recommendations or suggestions, by all means.